Okay, in today's video, I have exactly seven minutes to show you how to find your first customer or find more customers with these three gems. Now, you may be wondering, why did I choose this time? Well, average view duration. Gotta pat that algorithm, baby. I'm already running out of time, so let's get back into this video. Quite ironic, but we need to go back to the building blocks of this. Remember, we're producers trying to sell our beats online. In a poll we ran recently, someone said the reason they don't sell beats is because no one where they live wants to buy beats. And uh, you know, here, here's the thing, my guy. I live in the east coast of the US and I work for a company the whole way in the Netherlands. My morning commute would be a 10 hour flight. So it doesn't matter where you live. Selling beats online is as simple as being online. So now here's my three gems to you guys on trying to find your first customer or trying to find more customers with these proven strategies. First up is TikTok. Right now, TikTok seems to be the easiest way to start building connections with artists, all because of one single feature called Looking invisible if you see the homies with the guy with the guy. Uh about that. Uh, it's not that, but it's called a duet feature. Now for our 35 to 44 year old demographic on the channel, let me explain to you how this works. You post a video like this, cooking up a beat, and then an artist comes along, hears the beat, and he hits the duet button, and he makes a video rapping over your video. And I mean, if only someone would have made a video about how more producers should be using TikTok months ago. But seriously, let's look at Curtis King, a well-known producer on YouTube with over 200,000 subscribers. To my understanding, he recently made a TikTok basically for funsies. And after just a little bit of grinding, the man starts blowing up on multiple videos. This man is literally at the point of where artists are demanding that he opens up a beat store so they can buy the beats. But with all the ridiculousness that has been the last few days on TikTok, actually. I know I keep hammering this thing over the head, but it's really starting to shift a lot of things for my business, and I'm actually really grateful. If only in a perfect world, right, boys? Another producer making a killing on TikTok is Adelante Music. On YouTube, he looks like the average, and sorry, but struggling producer only getting around 50 views a video if he's lucky. But on TikTok, in the past 30 days, he's gotten over 17,000 views. So go do some dances on TikTok and start selling some beats. P.S. We also just started our TikTok for heat, and I will be most definitely making some funny ones. So make sure to follow us on TikTok. It's just heat, then underscore. My second gem to you guys is steal customers off YouTube. Now, before I show you how to be a petty thief, if you're enjoying our content on YouTube, please make sure to like and subscribe. Once more, gotta pad that algorithm. And if you really love our content, all I can ask is to share this video with three of your friends who could use this help on their journey for selling beats online. Okay, so I'll admit, this is something that I stupidly found one day and never saw anyone else really ever talk about before. All I wanted to do was see which artists were using my beats. So I I figured I'd go on YouTube and I would type in prod by sound design. And then any artist who used my beat and gave me credit in the title or description popped up. Then I realized, wait a second. Let me go find bigger producers in my niche like Lethal Needle or Fat Cat Beats and then search their names and find even way more artists. Now, after just finding a few artists, I also saw something that was extremely helpful for building a relationship and kind of getting my foot into the door with these artists, all of them just had blank descriptions on YouTube, and the song cover was a random stock photo. So if you're not writing down and taking notes yet, you need to start because this is gonna be huge. So I'd comment something nice and I'd be like, hey man, shoot me a message on IG. I'd love to talk more about your music. Then I'd be like, hey man, what if somebody comes along like me and they want to stream more music or talk and connect with you? How are they gonna do that? And then I could tell it sparked on there and they were like, huh, oh shit. I'm kind of screwing myself out of fans, aren't I? I'd simply recommend them to add their links to the description, join a service like DistroKid, and even offer them graphic design. As long as my beats weren't terrible, it was pretty easy to steal a customer. My beats had matched their style and they saw me as somebody who provided value towards their goals. Now, third is empathy. And just to clear this up, this isn't a new data point or a YouTube setting. This is the ability to understand someone's emotions. Now, before the retention graph takes a bombing downturn, let me explain this. 
empathy is such a strong tool to understand when selling to artists. A question that I always have producers ask me is how do I message artists? How do I build relationships? How do I sell my beats through DMs? And empathy provides you the answers to those questions. The reason on why my method of stealing customers worked before is because I applied empathy. My little value point of, hey, you need to provide links and have your music on streaming services was something that got them one step closer to their goal. I mean, do you post beats on YouTube just to see the comments of dope melody fam, sub me back? No, you're posting beats to sell and make this fat cash. Now, ironically, most producers and artists are disconnected today. I'll even admit myself, back when I first started, I put such a strong emphasis on only paying customers when I didn't have any yet. That's some backward ass logic. So now you're probably wondering, well, Ryan, what is empathy? How do I build up empathy? And here's what I can tell you from this channel and from my beat selling channel. Just talk to as many people as you can. Whoever you connect to in your target audience, they will literally tell you everything you need to know about what their problems are and what their goals are. And then that's how you build the marketing around your beats and your services as a producer. Now, while this video covered three gems that will help you get your first customer or even more customers, you are going to wanna to watch this video about avoiding six easy mistakes that you also may be making that could be impacting your sales. Peace out.